I'm sure all you people that are into plush are probably like, oh my God, Burke, you passed up so many things. All right, oh, is that an Ewok? My name is Burke and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and we are starting off today's vintage toy hunt adventure at the Goody Will. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? <laughs> Hopefully you got some vintage toys on your shelves, because that's the name of the game. If you're new to the channel, I hunt vintage toys in thrift stores. That's my main gig. But I do tend to buy other toys, modern toys. I buy junk too. I buy broken toys, toys missing parts and stuff like that because I'm addicted to toy hunting. <laughs> so I just get my hands on everything and everything and buy it. So, all right, guys, let's head in here. Let's keep our fingers crossed and pray. Pray, pray, pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. Oh, what I got here in the glass case, we got sports buds, Texas A&M, Mr. Potato Head. Uh, there's like a Wii system right there. Uh, let's see, anything else in Miami Dolphin gear? It says uh, Lionel. I don't know if there's like a train inside there or not. And a little race car. There's some Holly Hobby stuff. All right, let's go check the shelves. Oh, here's uh, here's that Teletubby we saw the other day. Let's put him back here with the rest of the gang. All right. Let's see. Anything good? This has been here for like a week. Quite honestly, I'm surprised someone hasn't just picked this up and shoved it in their pocket. All right. What's this right here? Whoa. <laughs> that uh, antenna almost smacked me in the face. Well, guys, I ain't seeing nothing. Looks like just a bunch of junk. Yeah, there's like a Hamburglar outfit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, here's a little, little pirate looking dude. All right, anything in the plushies? I found an Annie, a little orphan Annie from the 80s in here the other day. And a little Smurf from the 80s. But I'm not seeing anything jumping out at me. Hey, it's Frosty the Snowman. Oh, let's see. Happy birthday! Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul. With a fun cup pipe and a fun stone, and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty, 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 look at that frosty goat. Frosty, 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 over the hills of snow. Frosty. When's he gonna turn off? But he waved goodbye to the I'll be back, back on again. Christmas Day. Oh, I'll be back on Christmas Day. I thought it was always thought it was I'll be back again someday. So Alright, well that was fun. Alright, what else do we got? Oh, we got like a reindeer. We got some remnants of Christmas is what we have and some Halloween stuff. Alright guys, first store of the day, busted, busted at the Goody Wheel. So it's Sunday, nothing opens, like most of the stores don't open until 11 a.m. It's 10 a.m. right now, but you know, the Goodwill's open at 10 a.m. So there's a Goodwill in Allen, the next town over. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. Alright guys, I changed my mind. We're not hitting up, uh, we're not hitting up Goodwill just yet. We're going to hit up. Craptastic Sam's main location. So let's head in here, see if we can grab some vintage toys off the shelves. We'll check the glass case. We'll check the shelves. We'll check the baggies. We'll check it all. We'll check it all. And hopefully score something super sweet. All right, anything in the glass case? Uh, doesn't look like it. Let's go check the bags. All right, what do we got up here? Nothing in that bag. Uh, looks like we got some monster trucks in this one. And that's just a bag of junk. 
Nothing back there. We got some plushies in this bag. And what's over here? What are these? Like little shot glasses or something? An ash, is that like an ashtray? <laughs> What do we got here? Looks like we got some Mickey D's toys in there. Mm, nothing here either. Yeah, bags are actually kind of weak. I just walked up the aisle and didn't even see anything really worth looking at. Let's go check the shelves. Oh, look at this guy. World War II Memorial Stamp Bear. Oh, he's kind of cool. I think I might actually grab that dude. All right, what's this, like some sort of monkey? 2013. Looks like he probably dances or something like that. All right. Yeah, I got a good bit of die cast in here. Oh, check out that T Rex. There's that toy hunter guy. All right, check out that dude. He's kind of cool. He's supposed to be a hand puppet, but he's too uh, too small for my hand. That is neat looking. Anything good in here? No. For a second, I thought that thing had a gun in its hand. <laughs> it's like a cell phone or something. Look at his butt. Be my princess. Hey, look at that. Uh, I saw him here the other day. I wonder if he's made out of plastic. Probably asked to see him. All right, I got the World War II Memorial Stamp Bear. I got him. Uh, the stamp on him actually says 37 cents. So that was a little while back. Uh, not super far back, but it's not it's not recent it's not 2022 or 2023 that's for sure but yeah so i picked him up just because he's world war ii and i like army stuff so all right guys now let's go hit up the goodie wheel and see what kind of goodies they got i almost got into the wrong car all right gang we're at the goodie wheel baby goodie wheel allen texas what you got for me today goodie wheel what you got for me today hopefully you got some vintage goodness in there Let's check it out. All right, we're closing in. Closing in on ground zero. What's this down here? Oh, it's an old, tiny microscope. In a wooden box, even. That's kind of cool. 30 bucks for that. Damn. $30.03. No, thank you. All right, I'll check this dude out. This Hershey's Kiss. That's fun. That looks kind of old. What year is that from? 1995? Yeah, I think we're gonna get that. That's neat. That'll make a cool display piece. Right, is there anything else cool in here? Anything else cool like that? What's this? Oh, it's a little snowman wind-up toy. I grabbed a, uh, a Santa Claus, one of these, and a, and a reindeer, like a couple weeks ago. Uh, this, uh, this Joker car is still here. That was here like last week when I was here. And I got this, got this little robot dude. Great. <laughs> I don't have a habit of turning those things on. All right, accidentally turning them on. Anything over here? Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's cool. All right, well, I'm not seeing anything else, but we're definitely gonna get this. I think this is super cool. Like I said, it's just a fun display piece and it's from the 90s. How can you, we gotta turn him around though. He's backwards. I guess that lifts up, huh? There we go. Now he's kind of sort of right. Ah, yeah, there we go. Perfect, perfect. All right, check out this dude. Ooh, he's uh, keeping a watchful eye, an eagle eye on the happenings around town. What's this thing? Oh, a 
It's a John of the Hut. Man, that thing is tattered. It's actually pretty cool. It's kind of like, what year is this from? 1997. I was going to say, it's a, the leather is kind of sticky. Almost. But, uh... Hmm. Let's look him up, see if he's worth something. He's pretty beat, though. I mean, but I've never seen anything like it. And that's the thing. A lot of times, like, I just like to buy weird stuff. Yeah, I just looked him up. He's selling, like, in perfect condition with the tags and everything for $5. So, back, back in the bin you go. And I need to go wash my hands. All right, let's see. Anything else in here? Oh, what's this? I got a yo-yo. Oh, they only want a dollar for that? All right, well, let's get the yo-yo, too. It's only a buck. I do love me some yo-yos. Oh, there's a salacious crumb. What year is it? Uh, 1997? Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely snagging it up, too. Is there any other Star Wars stuff in here? Who's this supposed to be? Albert Einstein? Kind of looks like an Einstein to me. He's creepy looking though. For a second, just for a second, I thought that was a Furby. There's a Tigger. I think he actually talks. He's got like a battery pack in him or something. There's no Star Wars here. Not in this bin, anyway. Maybe in this bin, possibly? Spooky. Look at this giant. <laughs> I mean, that looks like it's a little bigger than it should be. Um, the stem. <laughs> I'm sure all you people that are into plush are probably like, oh my god, Bert, you passed up so many things. All right, oh, is that an Ewok? Oh, yeah. Oh, look, and he's got some plastic. I love plush that are part plastic. All right, so we got a Wicket. That's also from 1997. Hey, this is getting to be kind of fun. Let's see if there's anything else. Maybe there's like a... A Jawa or something? What's this thing? It's like a talking parrot. I'm like dropping, dropping plush all over the floor. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Back to rummaging. chicken that's like a restaurant down here in the south i don't know if they're up north at all but they're here in texas that's for sure Is that supposed to be like an Amish, an Amish lady, maybe? Who's this? Oh, we got the hip hop rabbit. He's got to be old. Let's see what his tags say. Yeah, 
I don't see anything. It just looks old. This plastic looks like it's kind of yellowed. What is that supposed to be like the thing? Marble? <laughs> it's kind of a, kind of has that look to it. Oh no, it's uh this is a bowling ball. Oh, I see. It's a dinosaur. Bowling pin and ball. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, I found these guys on eBay. They're called Lakeshore Dinosaurs, and uh you can get the whole set for like 10 bucks or something like that, so not worth anything. For a minute I thought this was a little Wilma Flintstone. Just for a second. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I think, I think I've rummaged through most of this. There's like a Peppa Pig. Oh yeah, I've been through this. I remember that sheep. Okay. All right, well, we're gonna get Salacious Chrome. We'll do our little show and tell here. We're gonna get this Wicket. How cool is he, man? Kenner. 1997 so we're gonna get a little wicket we're gonna get this yo-yo we're gonna get salacious crumb i think he's pretty cool and then we're gonna get the hershey's kiss all right well let's take a walk through the store and see if there's anything else we can get our hands on hey check it out i just found another one of those bowling pins and so now he's got a buddy oh we've got some Got some Wii game controllers here. Is this something Wii related? Hmm. A dollar for that. And uh, five dollars for that. All right, let's see, what do we got? Perfect Storm. The Touch of the Mink. We got Hannibal. Oh. Total Recall. All right, let's grab that. That's a good movie. I actually saw that in the theater as a kid. Went to see it with my friend Bobby Mundorf. I was just checking out this Christmas ornament. Christmas at Sears. It's from 1995. Looks like they're sitting on a wrench. Well, here's a Barbie fashionista carry case, but uh, they only sell for like 10 bucks. I don't even know what they want for this. Two dollars. Yeah. Pass on that. We'll leave that for some Barbie collector. All right. I got it. I got it all. Um, the yo-yo I actually got for 50 cents. I guess red tags are 50% off today. And it was a red tag. So I got the yo-yo for 50 cents. How cool is that? All right, guys. We'll probably hit up one more thrift store. I'm not exactly sure which one yet. I got to get home here shortly. But uh, we might hit up Craptastic Sam's. Let's head that way or wherever we end up and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are at the thrift store. All right, well, let's see what other goodies we can get. Hey, that Goodwill was a 1990s vintage haul. That was pretty awesome. I mean, I think everything we got was from the 90s. Wasn't Total Recall like in 1990? I think it was, or 91 or something like that, but um, the plushies, the Hershey Kiss thing, the VHS, all 90s, baby. 90s vintage in the house. All right, let's see if we can get some 80s vintage out of here. Vintage. <laughs> and some 80s vintage. Nothing in here. All right, well, let's rummage through some bags. Looks like there's a big section of bags taken out right there. These bags here are like junk, either junk or plush. Hey, we got a little Scooby-Doo. Got some bowling pins. Here, this is the chick from uh, Toy Story, right? We'll put her next to Scooby. Oh yeah, isn't her name like Bo Peep or something like that? What's this thing? Hmm. All right. 
got a giraffe and a T-Rex. Hmm. Now we got a Mickey in there. Remote control car. Yeah, there's just nothing but junk in these bags. Dang, this dude is still here. You know why? Because they wanted 15 bucks for him. They overpriced him. It should be like $3.99. Let's see. Anything else on the shelves? Shelves are looking pretty bare. This big red dragon dude down here. He's big and bulky. Fisher Price dragon probably goes with the Fisher Price castle. Let's see here. That's kind of cool. I like the uh, the action on that. Dang, this dude is still here too. He's been here for like weeks. Nobody's bought him. Oh, because he's ten dollars. They're gonna have to come down on the prices of these things if they want to sell them. This is a thrift store for crying out loud. It's not retail. Looks like there's all kinds of keychains in here. Yeah, there's like a ton of keychains in there. Harley Davidson, Colorado. Yeah, it was like somebody's keychain collection. Oh, we got some vintage Mickey glassware. All right, well, we just got busted. So, uh, Let's go finish up the day at Plaza Thrifts, AKA Craptastic Sam's, which is actually also owned by the thrift store. So they actually have these three locations, one in McKinney, one here in Plano, and then they got this one. So um, anyway, let's head over there and see what kind of goodies we can get. Man, it is windy. All right, kitties, final destination, Plaza Thrift, AKA Craptastic Sam's. And I did pretty good today, not forgetting keys until, of course, the last stop. <laughs> so let's head in here, check the glass case, check the shelves, rummage through some bags, do all the things that make us happy, <laughs> and uh, see if we can find something. Dallas Black, Giants jersey figurine, a Shelby Cobra, some of the same stuff we saw in here the last few times. The Halls of Fame. All right, guys, let's see anything on these shelves. Here's our shell razor. Missing all its pieces. See, I'm always turning this stuff on. <laughs> and then sometimes it plays forever. And I, some, anyway, yeah, we'll just leave it. <laughs> All right, what else we got? We got a dyno back in here. What's this NASCAR looking thing down here? Oh, it's just like a baby mobile or something. <laughs> for like for the crib. All right, well, I ain't seeing nothing here. Let's check these bags. Oh, look, this bag has crabs. <laughs> oh, I'm not seeing nothing in here either. I don't know what this thing is. Looks like maybe like a like a dog or something oh yeah it's like a i don't know if you can see that but it's like a rottweiler that's actually pretty cool you know what that would that would go good with uh mutt and junkyard from uh you know gi joe and for a, for a six and a half inch or not six and a half a six inch figure that's pretty cool yeah, we got a pink yo-yo we got a hammerhead shark some little tiny tiny green army men hmm we got this little R2-D2, a Mickey D's toy, a blue crocodile, and this is one of those Kingdom Transformers, but he's, I've seen him before, one of those, uh, what do they call them, Kingdom Wars or something like that, but he's missing a lot of pieces. All right, well, let's see if there's anything on these shelves. I've been putting toys down here lately. Yeah, I'm not seeing nothing. All right, guys, last stop. We got busted, but we still had a great trip. It was a lot of fun. We didn't get anything like over the top, like, oh my God, but 
you know we still got some cool stuff man we got some vintage 90s toys and some star wars to boot you know wicket i always liked wicket matter of fact i had a wicket the ewok plush when i was a kid a little bigger than that though but uh yeah uh, i had fun today i hope you had fun too in fact if you're enjoying watching this content as much as i'm enjoying making it do me a favor smash the like button it helps me out it helps my channel grow also if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button because i got a lot more great content coming your way and close to 700 videos you can start binge watching right now starting with this next video i know you're gonna love it